with Mitchell for three years since he's been here at the varsity level. Uh, he's actually started for two years for me here. We're a 6A school in Murfreesboro, so we play in the, they say, the seventh toughest region in the state. I don't know, I know it's a dog fight every week. Well, you know, I came in, my first year was his sophomore year. He, uh, he was a little undersized, but I noticed he had a lot of fight about him. And, you know, that's one characteristic that you can't coach. You know, if a kid's got a little fight, and uh, as the old saying goes, if he'll snap at you when he's a puppy, he'll bite you when he's a dog. And as Mitchell grew up and uh, actually started as a junior and senior for me on the offensive line at guard, uh, really turned into a real good football player for us. He's got a lot of football smarts. I mean, he's, he's very greedy. He's very, he works really hard. He works hard in the weight room. He does everything you ask him to do as a coach. Uh, he's easy to coach. I think he brings a lot of toughness. He's, uh, like I said, he's hard-nosed, he's greedy. Uh, he'll he'll get after you, and you know that's that's something that a lot of kids these days won't do in the passive society that we live in. You know he'll come hang out with me in the office. I can talk to him like he's my own. You know if, if I see him doing something wrong, I can correct him. He's a yes or no sir. He does exactly what you tell him to do. Uh, as far as I know, he's good in the classroom. He makes fairly good grades. Uh, just a pleasure to be around outside of football.